Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Um. <laughs> like. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna watch this trailer. I'm trying, I'm trying to skip over music, but let's just see. Let's see this trailer. All right. I don't know, because I'm trying to play down the music. Well, I'm going to wait a sequel. Oh, we're watching this. Look, look at this. Oh. Hmm. Oh man! Wow, wow! Somebody had listened to that without music, but um, I'm a, as we're looking at, I'm going to do that refresh. Let's see what news we can find out about this, bro. This is crazy. When I first saw this, I was like, well, my friend told me, I thought this was a lie. I was like, smite too. Hmm. Um. Mm. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to read something because I haven't seen nothing about this game. Or I haven't seen anything about this. I'm gonna keep. This. Um. It said this game feel like Smite, but newer. Ever than me. I ain't gonna lie, I look newer. If you go back to this trailer, look. back to this trailer, bro. Like, okay, so this balloon, this balloon scene right here. This ain't gonna lie, this balloon scene right here. Oh my god, sorry. So, from what I see from this right here, hello? Like, just the part right here. Well, I can see the other part too while I was looking at this. The part right here, though, it's like it's just more fluid. It's like the game look more fluid. It looks like you have more space and you can actually, like, I don't know, the jungle look like actual jungle. I'm not going to lie to you. You just look. If you look left or right right here, bro. I don't know if I can zoom in or not. It's like you actually, like, Like I don't know, from it look like it look like not this. This one look kind of this one look kind of insane. I guess because it's low key. Cause I feel like most of the characters that already move kind of fluid. I don't think it'd be a different. But like, let's go to like, well, let's go to Anubis, right? So, so this right here, what what Anubis does, what Anubis does is move. Uh. Let's, let's, let's go to another one. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. So when Anubis does this move, um, Man, do I have a gameplay on new? <laughs> I don't want to share about this video. Let's see. It. Do I have a game. I don't think.
Mm -hmm. I don't think I. Hmm. I I do not. Okay, I'll try Lou. Oh, no, okay. Let's go, Lou. Watch. Oh, maybe they just paint a new. One. I ain't know a new one. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe they just trained the newest period. Cause I didn't know you could use one like, that, honestly. Huh. maybe I'm wrong. We'll take that back. I haven't played new for so long, so maybe I'm wrong. But it looks everything looks more fluid though. I don't know. It just looks more fluid. I care if it looks on like the like the colors and everything. I don't know. Ah, oh, smite too. Wait. What a magic! Right. Hold on a second. Oh, that's not weird. All right, let's let's. Oh, I have to give me a second, y'all. I think I just started up a game. <sighs> Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Four thirteen. Okay. Let's see. Oh. I opened up a game on accident. I won't close. There we go. Okay, let's see what it says. It says, I read this part of the bit. I was just saying, so you like an old MOBA. Ba ba ba. Watch the reveal, you know, the Mr. Thing is fresh by the devs. Like conquering and trade. Do what a pain curtain. Same style gameplay if you're Amp, exciting bells and whistles. Okay. Uh, preview. In our preview, we played Conquest. It's time for a time mobile mode. Huh. So they played it? Video. I'm looking at it right now. They have video on.
A little like people's already playing it. Which is kind of crazy. Uh, let's keep reading. Let's let's keep reading. Let's keep reading on some stuff first, and then we we'll mess around and talking about. It. I, I I am seeing. Keep doing. Uh, it says Kill Count, Kill of Phoenix, two. However, in the two brief games I played, and that's obvious. It said for starters, the relics are gone. Okay, the relics are gone. Place where crowd control break and a vision ward that is part of the enemy. A crowd control break. So it's the what? That's ages, obviously, or thieves. Uh, so he took all their relic out. Kept ages in. That's what it's. That's what it's like. I'm. That's what I feel like I'm reading. I might be wrong, but that's what I feel like I'm reading. Chat. Um. This takes away a bit from the complexity and standardization there in the game, which would be a boom for the players. The audience time for fully targeting with smart and smite too. Because relic ability have been shifted into vastly changed store and item system, which would pair the item slot means by activated with options are still available later in the game. Okay. That's the idea. The item. Uh, a real star of the show goes to new map objectives like the Warhorn and the God pile, Gold Pile. Part team player stomping, stomping their opponent can be this way. Go lead significantly, rewarding those who perform well beyond just throwing them kills in the early towers. It also adds some of the hungers who now need to powerful boost. On speaking of, I played the Fury, very Fury on her on one of my talking, and like, both look very okay, okay. Okay, that part when we game feels feels like Smite but newer, which I like it, like it's so. uh. Trying to well be a big me I sign on this and made play. Hmm. Say you could not buy players who were airborne. I don't think you did anyway. Don't lie, press pause or smart to play back. So they have to game mode, so I have to feed the crowd launch. Oh! Only gonna, it's only going to have 50 guys. Oh! Well. Um. Well. That's. That's going to be different. Um. Let's see. That's gonna be different. Um, yeah. Um, there's a hundred. There's hundred thirty. Um. I know this says I know this says on twenty nine. Close. So twenty. Uh, okay, no, I remember one twenty nine. I thought it was one thirty now because. I thought I saw. I thought I was over one thirty. Okay. So anyway, we'll 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 just stick with this. We'll just stick with this. Okay, we'll just have your twenty nine. So you tell me they took out like seventy guys or that mouth right? Eighty guys? Like eighty guys, right? Fifty seventy nine guys. Took out seventy nine guys. 
129 versus 50. And I got all the OGs because they showing Zeus alone on it. They show Loki, they show on her, they show Boo. Here, show. So they must got all the OGs. They, they must have took out. They must have took out gods like, oh, like, oh, all right, miss. Yeah. They must have just kept all the OGs in the game. I only took out, yeah, they, they must took, they took out every new Angolaya. They probably took out every new. Three. Okay, strong goes, the struggle on the line is again. Okay. <laughs> and then of course we're forward. But a distinct gameplay style was able to tear so off. League of Legends, League of League and Dota, sorry. Even over the spike pit, okay. Hmm. That's they they make a class might too might yeah. <coughs> okay, so that nothing there. Um So I was years together <coughs> in Smite, but now it's time for something new. Okay, let's something see this. more beautiful than okay, ever. Okay, so they got something Achilles in the game. That's, that's not an OG. More strategy and more creativity. Something we've all been dreaming about for a long, long time. Introducing world premiere. I woke up this morning. Oh shit! Hold on. Dang, coming out of That's only a couple of months. Have incredible new animations and godly effects, flexing the power of UE5. Some are reimagined with new abilities. That's right, Ymir's wall now knocks up enemies, and he can use it to. Oh, it knocks up at least as much as. Wow! Look at Ymir! Look what he can do now! Some are reimagined with. And knocks them up. Can you make this full screen and see who's on the other team and who's on the team? On his team, we have, I don't know who the fuck, I can't even tell. But that's Bacchus. So they have Bacchus on her Anubis and Bologna Chalk. So they in the game. That that Kukul Kuku Kuku Khan, I remember saying her Loki. Look like Odin. On her, I think. That's it. No, it's not. No, that's on her. So. Who is that? Who is, like, who is this? Did you see my mouse? Yeah, who the fuck is the one up in 13? You're hand him, man. With new abilities. That's right. Ymir's wall now knocks up enemies, and he can use it to rocket jump. At least as much of the Frost Giant can jump. And some have an all new look that stays true to their Smite 1 legacy while updating mm. for a new era. Here's an early look at Smite 2's Neath, who feels much more mythologically appropriate. Neath is in the game, okay? And of course, Smite 2 has all new gods. Introducing Hikati, whose flowing robes and other worldly effects. We have a new, we have 50 guys. We have a new god, Hikati. Are only possible in UE5. Hikati, the Greek goddess of sorcery, has been the single most community requested god for Smite. Players have felt her impact in Smite for years through the item Ring of Hikati, but now they will finally be able to play as the legendary witch herself. Hikati brings an elegant playstyle to Smite 2 with her ranged magical mm. abilities. Her magic allows her to reach through dimensions and even travel within the liminal space itself. Hecate's flames can guide the way, or her sorcery can bring gods to a halt. The choice is yours. Hecate is the first of five all. So she kind of sounds like Giannis, to me. but yeah, okay. New gods coming to Smite 2 before launch, but we can't give everything away just yet. 
Smite 2 is more than just Smite. Smite 2 is our chance to go back, take all the learnings from 10 years of making Smite into one of Speaking of 10 years of learning, um, yeah, y'all can go ahead. Y'all can go ahead and just reboot Ride a Tasker. I, because my thing about Ride a Tasker is, <clears throat> man, he was a great guy when he was at his peak. But y'all patched that man so much and did so much to him, bro. I guess I can see why a certain... I can see why we want to start over certain things like, yeah, like he should probably could be out of the game. But continue. One of the most successful multiplayer games of all time. And do it all strictly better. Not just better in some ways and worse than others, but undeniably better. There are improvements you'll see straight away. Smite 2 leverages things like dynamic lighting, using physically based rendering, buff simulation, higher polygon counts, and a whole slew of other features that we weren't able to take advantage of in Smite. Our goal has been to enhance the visuals in all areas while preserving the feel of Smite that our players love. We've made improvements to things like animation, effects, environment art, but we're just as proud of the hundreds of little touches. We focused on things that you'll appreciate even if you don't consciously notice them. Smite 2 should just feel better. Bro, is that Kanunas? So they cut Kanunas in the game? Or Sanunas, Kanunas, Sanunas, Kanunas, <laughs> whatever. Better. For example, something as simple as a jump animation is at a major overhaul, allowing for a smoother flow while adding context and impact. Ability effects are all new, taking full advantage of Niagara. Watch how Anher's pillar dissolves from the sand, how Chalk's rain wets the ground, and how Ymir's wall freezes the nearby environment. These effects will increase your immersion in the world and your sense of godly power. We looked at every god and made subtle changes to stay true to the god. Whether it's a visual balance pass, an overall fresh coat of paint, or minor proportional changes so Chuck doesn't have a dab on it. No matter how big or small, we've been looking into everything and working hard to really push the boundaries of what Smite 2 can be. Every aspect of the presentation is being considered to create an improved experience. Smite 2 is also strictly better technically than Smite in pretty much every way imaginable. Our new Rally Here backend supports millions of concurrent users. Smite 1 players know that our old monolithic matchmaking core had a tendency of dying long before we had that many players. Smite 2 will have an all-new custom matchmaking system, which is specifically designed to tackle the unique challenges of matchmaking for a MOBA. And Ranked will be reimagined with a brand new system that aims to bring the competition to more players than ever, while creating a true uncapped battle for the number one spot in the world. Smite 1's UI runs on Flash. Yes, that Flash, which has long kept us from creating a modern UI with polish and performance that's finally possible in In UI with Paul. Oh, I ain't talking about my baby. <clears throat> this look dope. Um, like for real, this this right here, bro, this look like man. This this bro, look, look at this y'all. Like this is it, bro. Like right, this is this is it, bro. Like this look dope. Like man, like the color and it's just in the color in the pictures. Like, feel me? Like that that looked up, bro. I looked up, bro. Awesome performance that's finally possible in Smite Two. And Smite Two is a next gen native title, taking full advantage of modern hardware. Smite 2 will support full crossplay across PC, Steam Deck, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. Smite 2 is a game where fighting feels strictly better than ever, so you can feel more like a god with additional impact on every hit. Weapon movements leave trails, making attacks more visible. Upper and lower body animations are more in sync, positioning your character within the action. Specific animations and effects have been retuned to add more impact than before. It's one. It's, it's the left smite too. Yep, it is. My friend. What I don't like though, the hood do look a little weird. Like the health hood. But 
don't know. Other than that, bro, it looks fine. Just the health hood looks weird. I would definitely health hood. Have the health hood on the right, but health. CC status and immunity are now clearly communicated on nameplates. It's <clears throat> easier to read the flow of combat. And work has been done on the UI and user experience to make sure you truly feel when you're hitting your enemies and being hit. And perhaps most importantly, it's a game with strictly better tactical and strategic depth than Smite 1. We've completely overhauled the idea of what items and abilities mean? in Smite 2 to open the doors for more creativity, expression, and experimentation in every game you play. First up, relics are gone, at least as you know them. Now every god has two buttons by default, purification beads to immune crowd control, mm. and a warding slot used specifically for your choice of vision control options. What about the other okay. former relic options? Like I said, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like we just read. Um, I can say he just read. I feel like when he, when he, but he, he did. I guess he worded it for people who didn't know, who don't know Smite, that I require it. But like I said, it's probably just beads. Um, Anybody that read that and played Smite would have realized that that's just what it was. Like I said, they are ages. I thought it was going to be ages in that. Sorry, I was like, I'm far. All right, so yeah, that just beats. Um, yeah, just beats, bro. I mean, it's going to be crazy on no relics. But at the same time, I guess it's fair because people did only just use beats anyway. So we'll see. Well, now your entire six slot item inventory can potentially have an activated effect triggered by a button press. If you want blink, buy a blinking amulet. And don't worry, if you don't want to think about using any extra buttons in combat, you can still build items that are focused on stats and passive effects. You don't expect, triggered by okay. a button press. What did you just say? Slot item inventory can okay. former relic options and items. Well, <clears throat> now your entire six slot item inventory can potentially have an activated effect. Wow, so instead of having just a one, oh, six, so if you play Smite, they added this. Um, we gonna say we gonna say last year. We just gonna say last year. Maybe cause maybe it was two to the two. I don't really remember. But they added where a little closer. But they added. Sorry. But they added where there were certain items where it had an extra ability to it. Um, like someone like one of them would be like. The item would be 20% cooldown, 200 mana, 20 power. And they might have a pass of saying, oh, when you're below health, you gain more mana. Oh, uh, you gain like 20% more mana level when you're below 50% health. All right. So now, what they had did like last year or maybe in 2022, my, my, don't, my, my track of that is not really the perfect right now. But maybe they had it in the beginning of 2022, but it's still enough for rambling, all right? So they added to where it would be like this extra effect where you would, um, where you would, what I'm trying to say, where you would, it would be an extra ability. It might be some extra beyond shit. It will be like, oh, now the extra ability, now you have 20% more power after your first ability hit. So I'm like, like it, it, it was, it was, just, it was an actual item, but it was extra to the item plus another pass to the, the item. So I, that's what I guess what they call activate. Triggered by a button press. If you want blink, buy a blinking amulet. And don't worry, if you don't want to think about using any extra buttons in combat, you can still build items that are focused on stats and passives instead. The choice is yours in this new system. The item store is now easier to navigate with an entirely new way to build items. Want to cool it down item and don't want to scour 30 different trees? Don't want to have to decide now what finished item you'll need in five minutes? Don't worry, just build a bow and every single item with attack speed can be built out of that bow. And you'll have more creative builds than ever before. Mm. Gods are no longer just magical or physical. Each god will now have two different sources of power, strength and intelligence. Different abilities what? within each god's kit will scale differently. So there's no more mages and physicals? And all gods will be able to build all items. Face Punch Ymir with crit is back. Hunters that used to do it all like Kernanos now will need to build int in order to increase damage on certain abilities, like his polymer. And new hybrid utility options let Chalk build int to buff his healing. And there's even more new in Smite 2 to reward you for tactically and creatively playing the Conquest map. Ambush your enemies from new stealth zones, and make clutch rotations through portals connecting outer lanes. Battle against the Fire Giant, fully equipped with new abilities and new tactical approaches. Like the back door you can open to sneak in for a steal. Earn game-changing buffs as you defeat the Gold Fury. 
culminating in the Ancient Fury, a new game naming objective. Gain every advantage through mastering new lane and jungle mechanics. Wow. Naming formations and siege minions will make laning more rewarding. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, we gotta go back, right? We gotta go back right here, bro. I mean, they just said a lot. But they just said a lot in the very fast. Creative builds than ever before. Gods are no. First of all, let's just get out of the way. He just said you can get a, a a regular bow and get any attack speed item out of it. Man. Two things with it. One. One, I feel like you're gonna have the same problem anyway. You have problems you're gonna Two, it, that is a crazy like step skipper. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like eliminating steps. That is a crazy way to eliminate steps. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So that's gonna be crazy, bro. That's like like what the fuck, bro. Like that is like man, bro. I don't know. Um let me see what he said. Oh, and then he said that's no that's no more magical power and physical power. Which I feel like him saying is only intelligence and no longer just magical or physical. Each god will now have two different sources of power, strength and intelligence. Different okay. I feel like having strength and intelligence the same Each thing is magical. Of power, strength physical. And but we will see. Because I just think... I, I don't know. It just did intelligence to sound like kind of... I ain't gonna lie, bro. A lot of basic people was not going to understand that method. I guess that. And intelligence. Different abilities within each god's kit will scale differently, and all gods will be able to build all items. Space Punch Ymir with crit is back. Hunters that used to do it all like Kernanos now will need to build int in order to increase damage on certain abilities, like his polymorph. And new hybrid utility options let Chalk build int to buff his healing. And there's even more new in Smite 2 to reward you for tactically and creatively playing the Conquest map. Ambush your enemies from new stealth zones, and make clutch rotations through portals connecting outer lanes. Battle against the Fire Giant, fully equipped with new abilities and new. Oh, I was he said tower protect. I ain't know what he was trying to say. Like the back door, you can open to sneak in for a steal. Earn game changing buffs as you defeat the Gold Fury, culminating in the Ancient Fury, a new game naming objective. Gain every advantage through mastering new lane and jungle mechanics. New minion formations and siege minions will make laning more rewarding, while an evolving jungle introduces new strategy to jungling. And there's an all new way to intentionally interact with the map through a button press. Use this to fight over the Warhorn, which strengthens your minions, or to pick up a buff. Mm, okay, that's, right. that's what the Warhorn is. There are no is. more accidental buff pickups in Smite 2. As we've said before, Smite 2 is a true sequel to Smite. And as we've said before, that's right. There are no more accidental buff pickups in Smite 2. As we've so said, no more, so there's no more camps? Okay. That's huge. If he if he's saying what I think he's saying. I don't know if that makes sense though, because what is they doing? I don't know what it means. But they look like camps to me. But it's not like he said there's no more camps. That's right. There are no more accidental buff pickups so, in Smite 2. As we've said before, Smite 2 is a true sequel to Smite. I don't know, And bro. a new standalone game. So let's address the question on everyone's mind. Existing content from Smite 1 will not directly transfer to Smite 2. But don't worry. Just because your content doesn't directly transfer doesn't mean we're not rewarding our loyal players in Smite 2 for, for their time, minutes. money, and accomplishments. First, let's talk about why we are not directly transferring content. Smite 2 is a multi-generational leap from Smite 1, moving from Unreal 3 to Unreal 5. That means we have to completely rework or recreate every piece of content for it to function in Smite 2. Currently, Ooh. because we rework or re moving from Unreal 3 to Unreal 5. That means we have to completely rework or recreate every piece of content for it to function in Smite 2. 
Currently, hey, because yo. we want to make sure all the content that goes into Smite 2 is strictly better, it takes about two months of work to get one skin from okay. Smite to I see Smite Susano. 2. And that's if we just port it with effects, without making other meaningful improvements. As of today, there are about 1,600 skins in To get one skin from content that goes into Let's see. Let's, let's, let's see if we can see any That guys. means we have to completely rework or recreate every piece of content for it to function. Let's see if we can see any gods. Because we want this. to make sure all the content that goes into Smite 2 is strictly better, it takes about. All right, we see Susano, see Zeus. Is that King Arthur? The fuck is that? Um, yeah, King Arthur. Oh, I see who are you, I think. My boy, who are you in the game? Can we zoom in? <laughs> let's see. That was it. Can't really zoom. Two months of work to get. Can't really zoom. I try, bro. Can't lose it. One skin from Smite to Smite 2. I try, bro. And that's if we just port it with effects without making other meaningful improvements. As of today, there are about 1,600 skins in Smite, excluding mastery skins. To just port every skin to Smite 2, it would take about 246 person years of work. And we couldn't do that and make Smite 2 as amazing as we knew it could be if we started fresh. When we started this project, we made this hard call. We believed that our players wanted a better version of Smite more than anything else. So what will you get in Smite 2? Introducing Legacy Gems no more and Divine Legacy. Two systems designed to make sure you... No more skills, y'all. Ooh, no more skins. We got to start over on skins. <sighs> you get rewarded for your time, money, and achievements. Whether you grinded out daily logins or went hard on your gym sales, your legacy gems will be waiting for you in Smite 2. You'll receive legacy gems in Smite 2 equal to every single gem you've ever spent in Smite 1, free or purchased. Your legacy gems can be used to pay for 50% of most in-game purchases in Smite 2. So things like events, skins, battle passes, and Smite 2 will all be half off until you spend all of your Legacy Gems. And if you purchase any Smite 2 Founders Packs, we'll give you double your Legacy Gems, giving you the equivalent purchasing power to the all. gems you've already spent in Smite 1. Stay tuned for more info on Smite 2's Founders Packs as I we get closer to release. Like one and Dear 11 of Smite 1 comes with an all-new feature, Divine Legacy, going live in the first update of Year 11. Through the Divine Legacy, you'll be rewarded for your progress for each year of Smite's history. We've tracked the gods you've mastered, the ranked matches you've lost, the skins you've unlocked, and the match hours you've played. You earn points for your progress in each year, and your points are tallied together to give you rewards. You'll get a number of Smite 2 badges to show up some of your amazing Smite 1 achievements, your rare skins, and your exact mastery level and star count on each god. Plus, you'll unlock up to 11 skins in Smite 2 free. One for each year of Smite. Even if you don't plan to move to Smite 2, the Divine Legacy has some amazing rewards for you. You'll get to choose any unlimited tier 4 and any unlimited tier 5 to unlock absolutely free in Smite 1. And if you've started Smite more recently, don't worry. You can still make progress on your Divine Legacy throughout year 11 and eventually unlock all the rewards. There's something else brand new coming to Smite in year 11. Man, I'm sorry. I just got quiet. I don't know. I just started thinking, bro. Like... It's like damn, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's like, it's like a dying scene ending, bro. I just can't, can't believe. It. Damn, bro. Damn. Damn, bro. This is my, like, you know, this might did, <laughs> man, bro. This might did a lot for me, y'all. Like. I don't know, man. It's like the life for me. I don't really. I can't. It's lost a word for me. It's like that a lot. Crazy, bro. That's like too holy.
And I don't know, some of the ministry when they was talking about the legacies. I do have a legacy. All the time. Money spent, bro. I bought fifty dollars skins, bro. You know, like a hundred dollars skin. I bought damn, bro. I bought full battle packs. I bought events, bro. Oh man. Cross gen skins. With Smite 2 Keep approaching, we built a whole new skin production pipeline to make content that you'll get both in Smite 1 and in Smite 2. You can unlock two cross gen skins today with the Smite Legacy Pass DLC. Available now in Smite. This pack includes the new Crossgen Untamed Valona skin, the new Crossgen Batty Bat Jingwei skin, a boost to Divine Legacy progress in year 11, and more. There's not just one or two Crossgen skins this year. Every new Gem Crucible skin released in Smite in year 11 will be a Crossgen skin, unlocked for you in Smite 2 as soon as that god is available to play. And as an added benefit, you'll get legacy gems in Smite 2 for every gem you spend on these cross-gen skins or any Smite 1 content. We're so excited for the cross-gen content that we're kicking off year 11 with two all-new events built around the concept. First, battle mm. passes are now cross-gen passes. Second, the Immortal Honor event, where we'll reveal two new gods transitioning to Smite 2 every month. And it's important to make clear once again, Smite 2 is a true sequel. Smite 1 and all of your Smite 1 content will remain live and available for you to play even after Smite 2 releases. I know we threw a lot of information at you today about Smite 2 mm. and the Divine Legacy process. Good, bro. <clears throat> we put together a rundown at smite2.com slash FAQ. We'll also continue to update you nonstop as more information about Smite 2 comes out. So follow at Smite Game on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. I mean, I mean X. You know what I mean. We are committed to Smite 2 for years to come. And as a competitive game, that commitment starts with eSports. 2024 will be a transition year for the eSports scene, as the Titan Forge eSports ecosystem moves from Smite to Smite 2 and evolves to answer a few of the community's most frequently heard concerns. All lands where you can join together in the audience and cheer on your favorite teams. A return of region-based rivalries with their unique metas. No more requirements for pros to live in Atlanta, allowing anyone to compete regardless of where they are from. An esports scene that is more open to anyone with the skill to win. And more freedom for players to sign sponsorship deals with whomever they want to. Introducing the Smite 2 Founders Series. A series of land majors that will build the foundation of Smite 2 esports scene. Starting during Smite 2's alpha, teams will be able to form freely under a banner of their choice and play in online qualifiers. The best teams will earn their spots to play live at a Smite 2 LAN Major. These majors will be held in front of a live audience around the world. We can confirm today that in year one of Smite 2 Esports, there will be at least one major in the United States, and for the first time since 2017, competitive Smite will be played in front of a crowd at a major in Europe or the UK. Mm. Be sure to follow the Smite Pro X account to learn more about Smite 2 Founder Series and how you can take part. When we started development on Smite 2, you know what? We wanted to make the. Let's go ahead and pause this. Let's go see what the fuck that's about. Because I would love to try to get it this my time around. Like for real. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back. I have a lot on this page right now. The first great MOBA since Smite. We think we're on the right track, but we're not done yet. There's a lot of work still left to be done. We're going to need your help to make Smite 2 as amazing as it can be, because we believe the best games are developed alongside their communities. We've already begun early testing with SPL pros, Olympians, and some of your favorite content creators. Their feedback has been shaping the direction of Smite 2 for months. We expect you'll be able to get your hands on Smite 2 this spring in early alpha testing. 
Go to smite2.com right now to register for an alpha code. Keep in mind, this will be a true alpha. The game will still be rough around the edges and even in the middle, but we want you in the game to get your feedback as soon as we can so that we're sure we're making the Smite 2 that you all want to play. For a few I will be applying for that after the stream. Arlington, I'm you have a special chance to play a so. private test of Smite 2 this weekend. There's so much more. We can't wait to tell you about Smite 2. We didn't even have time to mention that voice packs in Smite 2 are now just unlocked automatically with each god. At 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, on Sunday, January 14th, immediately following the Smite Year 11 show match, we'll be live on stage here at Esports Stadium Arlington and streaming everywhere online for our very first Smite 2 Dev Insight Show. We'll talk more about our goals for Smite 2, showcase some development footage, and try to give a lot more detail about our vision for Smite 2. And from now until Alpha, we're going to be diving deep on a new feature every week. We'll cover some things we've touched on here today and some we just didn't have time to get to, like our improved audio system and how Conquest roles are changing. If you want to be sure to get okay. all the latest news, so wish Conquest list Smite 2 on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Epic Games Store today, and follow at Smite Game everywhere. To all uh, those watching in Arlington or at home, thank you for making the Smite community strong. We can't wait to take this first step into the next chapter of Smite with all of you. And with that, it's time for the Smite World Championship. <clears throat> wow. Wow, y'all. A new era of Smite, bro. A new era of Smite coming, bro. Wow, man. Wow. Well, um, shoot, I have lost of words, bro. Um, think about the end of stream, man, because, and as I say, bro, um, fight two, bro. Coming alpha, my bad, not the game, sorry. Not the game. Fight two alpha. I'm a spring, bro. Only three, four months. Only three, four months. Maybe two months. If you want to push that motherfucker to March. Wow, yeah. Wow, bro. Wow, bro. Wow, bro. Man. Oh, man. Man, it's your boy, Angel the Gamer, man. Let me see y'all. Uh, I'll be out this thing, bro. I just want y'all to. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I did give it, man. We out this thing. Peace. Catch him on a dog roll, leave a nigga hard.